Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in AutoCAD. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial I am going to teach you about text in AutoCAD. So uh, if you go to your ribbon panel here you can see this symbol text and if you click this arrow you can see there are two types of text. One is multi-line text and another is single line text. So if you bring your mouse you can see it creates a multiple text object and this is for display text on the screen as it is entered you can use single line text to create one or more lines of text so i will discuss both of them so uh, for multi line text the shortcut command is empty on your command bar you can enter empty and you can start using multi line text and for single line text you are required to enter shortcut command dt on your command panel and you can start using single line text or you can simply click visually multi line text or single line text to start using it so i am going to start with multi line text so i am going to enter in command panel empty and now if you will select uh, multi line text you can see this message m text is specify first corner so you are required to specify first corner you can click anywhere in viewport and also you can see uh, this text is attached with our cursor abc that means we are ready to write our multi line text so you can click anywhere on viewport so i am going to click with my left mouse click and now after that you can expand this in any direction and now it is asking m text specify opposite corner or height justify line spacing rotation style width and column so i am leaving uh, this one part right right now and i am going to simply click my opposite corner anywhere so i am going to click here and now you can see this uh, text bar here you are now ready to write text so i am going to enter any text here so i am going to enter glad studio and you can see and this is the text which i have written here so i am going to click outside once and you can see this is our text and it is now ready to be used in drawing so uh, if you are not satisfied with this scale uh, according to your drawing sheet or plan so you can edit it so i am going to enter edit and now after entering edit you can select the text and you can start editing this or else you can just double click this text and you can start editing so uh, now i am going to increase the scale so if you'll uh, increase by directly going to this annotative this is two and a half inches this text height so i'm going to uh, make it uh, two feet here but nothing happens that means uh, you have to select this whole text to increase the height so i'm going to select this whole text here and now i'm going to make it the height two feet and now i will click once outside here and you can see this is a uh, text in two feet height so you can just double click this and you can drag this to right side and this text will be in one line so this is the way you can increase or decrease the text height so uh, if i'm going to click here double click you can see uh, this is the annotative text and this one is a standard text these are the text style that comes with AutoCAD and if you want to uh, know about this annotative and standard text you have to wait for uh, um, advanced level of AutoCAD when I will create plans and I will show you the seat arrangement and I will work on a scale so type for time being you can understand uh, what is annotative text so annotative text you can use when you need to represent the same part of the drawing in different scales. So if you are working on different scale, AutoCAD will automatically scale the text according to your drawing sheet in annotative text. And what is the difference between annotative text and standard text is that the annotated dimension is intelligent and is always displayed in the same size regardless of the view scale. 
select an annotative object this can be text dimension setting so uh, irrespective of your scale this uh, autocad will automatically adjust the text height in annotative text and standard text you have to uh, adjust manually so uh, this is the difference now after this you uh, can adjust the scale from here by selecting text and you can adjust the text height and this is for match properties here this is the match text formatting and if you want bold letters you can use select the text and you can make it bold and if you want to underline this text you can use this underline uh, if you click once it will uh, go away and this is for superscript and you can write any square root forms and this is in italic method uh, italic text form and this is for overline if you want overline you can write overline in your text so it is used in your design sheets and if you click once it will go away and this is for strike through if you click it will strike through the text and this is for writing uh, lower and upper case if you want a lower case you can simply click this one and it will be in small letters and if you click upper case it will be it will be in a capital letter so uh, after this you can change the text uh, font here this is now in Arial. if you want uh, uh, any other font you can use this and uh, you can use any of this text font in your design as for your choice and uh, basically I am going to make it Arial only and now this is the layer I will make another tutorial on working with layers and you can adjust any color for time being and if you want any other color you can select it from this one and layer you have to wait for next tutorials so uh, this is by default the zero and now this is the justification so if you want to uh, write top left you will select this this is selected by default top left if you want to top center text you can simply select this top center text and this is top right to your it will write in uh, right the right direction and you will select left here it will be right in left direction this is middle left ml you will select this you can uh, see the changes this is middle center mc and this is bottom right so it will write in bottom right this is right bottom left so likewise we can use this text justification and this is for bullet and numbering so i want to be bulleted and numbered so i am going to write one here so you can adjust bulleted numbering if you want to letter you can use uppercase letter here this is for a start continue so likewise you can use this bullet and numbering and this is for line spacing if you want i am going to delete this and I am going to select this one and this is for default and this is for left side this is for center this is one for right side this is for justify and this is for distribute so I am going to default and now this is for spacing of columns so if you want to column so I am going to select uh, static column and I want to create two columns so you can see there is two columns in between this is one and this is second and if you will select this one to three it will be a three column so I am going to make it no column and if you want to insert any symbol like this one degree plus minus you can use this can use any other symbols if you want and you can use this symbol so uh, you can use this symbol and this is one is for a spell check here and this one is for filled so this is not 
important this is for a spell check and if you want to add a dictionary you can select and you can search for any word here and you can find and replace from this one also you can import text you can use this find and replace text and this is for options rural and there are some more character set here editor settings so the main things is important part is this is for formatting paragraph and insert and after if you are satisfied with your text you can simply use this close text editor and you can write, start writing your text like this in multi-line text so i am moving to my next uh, text format that is single line text so before that i will uh, tell you to how to write with another uh, method i am going to enter m text empty and you can see i am going to click once here and you can see this one according to height justify line spacing rotation style width and column so i am going to first click this one height and now it is asking m text specify height so i am going to specify my height to one fit enter and now it is asking opposite corner so height is before only it is adjusted so no need to make adjustment from after selecting text so i am going to specify my opposite direction here and now you can write a text height in one fit so i am going to write in one fit and i will click once and this is one fit text height here and you can just check this and you can see this is one fit so again i am going to enter empty m text and now i will click once here left corner and opposite corner i will use justify you can use justify and you can I start writing top left and tc tr that we have discussed and you can start writing this one using justify and again i am going to enter empty here and i am going to click once here and you can use line spacing so now enter line spacing type at least exactly so i am going to click once and I'm going to enter this the line spacing factor or distance so I'm going to enter uh, three feet here and now specify opposite corner or height so I'm going to specify and you can start using this text now again I'm going to enter empty and click once on left corner and you can use this rotation so i'm going to click rotation here and now it is asking m text specify rotation angle so i'm going to enter 45 here on the angle and now you can write text here so by rotation you can start writing like this in M text and if you click once and you can this is for a style annotative and a standard this is for width and I'm going to click this width and now it is asking a specify width so I'm going to make 4 inch and you can see this is the width of 4 inch you can simply increase this and you can start writing you can adjust according to your width of the text so now again i'm going to enter empty here and i'm going to click once to specify my first corner and now you can use columns to write your text so these are the methods of writing text in using multi-line text so you can adjust according to your height justify line spacing rotation style width and columns so I am uh, moving to my next uh, text type that is single line text. So if I am going to click this one single line text and now it is asking a specify start point of text. So I am going to click this one or it is asking justify or style. So I am simply going to 
click this ones here and now it is asking a specify height one feet two feet so i am going to specify one feet only here text height and now it is asking a specify rotation angle of text so uh, i am going to make it 60 degree enter and now i am going to write text here and i am going to click once here and i will skip this one and you can see this is at 60 degree this single line text so uh, generally we use multi line text and you can use also single line text so this is the method of writing text in autocad so this was the tutorial for today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in autocad so please like share and subscribe my channel thanks Thanks for watching.